Hello everyone, it's Rizimux here and welcome to a new speed build. Uh, this speed build it's called the White Villa and uh, the White Modern Villa actually. And um, if you don't know why, it's because it's a giant modern white villa. And <laughs> that's the reason. A giant mansion, it's really cool and uh, I like it a lot. It's very modern, very nice. And I love the white and blacks, so I decided to do this project only in white and blacks. That's why it's called the white villa. It's mainly white. Outside is basically just white. And I was on the internet looking at uh, some inspiration and I saw these giant uh, beaches uh, with uh, a giant villa, uh, giant villas everywhere, giant mansions, all white, all with very different structures, uh, but all very modern. So I got the inspiration and decided to do this. Uh, so that's the reason why I'm doing a villa. Uh, I'm calling it the la, even though I don't know if it's really the right word. I'll probably mention maybe the actual right use for this. But yeah, uh, as you can see, it has a couple of hanging pieces. Uh, that's why I'm using this uh, support uh, that I'm going to change anyway uh, with walls because I didn't like the look in the end. Uh, but yeah, uh, you can see it has a lot of hanging pieces. It's uh, quite quite particular but I like it a lot and in the end I think the inside is probably the main the part that I like the most so yeah um, I decided to go with uh, an entrance part uh, that it's um, there is no main entrance it's just uh, directly the living room so the living room uh, it's that space there where there are the stairs then we have uh, a dining room kitchen open space and uh, a little, I don't know, um, dependance where, no, it's not dependence, dependence is the wrong word, um, like a little corridor, we can say, to go outside, uh, a bathroom, and that's the downstairs, and then we have upstairs three bedrooms, uh, the main bedroom with uh, the uh, ensuite as well, uh, another bathroom, uh, two bedrooms for kids. I, I, one it's with two toddler be beds and the other one it's more like for a teen. Uh, that was the idea in my head at least. Uh, so yeah. Uh, now, as you can see, I'm still working on the outside and trying to get rid of that black spot there. So I had to create a little room there, but uh, I mean, it's not a big deal. You just have a little bit of a weird piece. Uh, it's just for the, um, the trim. That was the, the main problem. But anyway, um, there are a lot of windows in uh, this house, so it's very light up and uh, it's very cute. I don't know, it's um, it's very uh, sunny uh, in the end, in the inside as well. So I like it a lot. Um, and I love the roof trim I used. So uh, working inside, finally, I decided to use a half wall here. And on the half wall there, there's going to be the TV. So now I'm just trying some new... Um, you know, new, um, oh my god, not roofing, um, tiling, we can say, yeah, uh, but I, in the end I don't, I choose this uh, light um, tiling for the, the whole domain living space, so uh, living room, dining room and kitchen, they all have the same space, um, the same uh, tiling. Um, here I'm creating a kind of... Um, weird we can say uh, piece of furniture with a couple of uh, um, bookcases and here is the tv in this spot exactly and again with the kitchen um, cabinets i'm creating another piece of furniture which looks pretty cool i might add uh, i think it looks pretty cool and it looks uh, realistic which i love and it looks like they are these two pieces are part of the same, I don't know, like style, stylized, um, I don't know, collection, we can say. So, yeah, I really like that. And uh, again, all black and white, all black and white. Um, I think it looks pretty cool. Uh, I'm adding some uh, decorations, some books to make the libraries look a little bit more full. Uh, so it looks nicer. Um, yeah, I, I mean, at Except for, um, oh yeah, I do add this uh, light uh, part there, so yeah. Um, here we have this little space and I decided to put in a wardrobe. Um, 
because I'm thinking like when you come in the, in the house you may leave your um, jacket and your shoes inside there so it has a purpose uh, putting mirror uh, oh my god oh sorry for the camera movements but I'm putting mirror almost everywhere because I do want this space to look even more light up and big as it actually is and I'm using these big windows from Dine Out, if I'm not mistaken, they're from Dine Out, to um, not covering completely the windows, to make it look like they are half drawn, half closed, half opened. Uh, but now we're working on the kitchen, and I, again, very white, very white kitchen, but I like white kitchens, I think they look uh, way more, I don't know, um, polished and uh, well maintained and uh, just... They, they look way more, um, I don't know, uh, they look better, that's the main thing. So um, I decided to put the, um, the stove in, in the space, in uh, the island, yeah, uh, so it, st it still works uh, completely fine, uh, but it looks a little bit nicer, so I'm happy with that. Uh, I do add, yeah, a couple of uh, columns and again a mirrored splashback here which looks amazing, I love mirrored splashbacks uh, I know they would be very hard to maintain, uh, to keep um, polished because I know they would get all the splash from co you cooking they would get on the mirror and make it look dirty but I mean uh, they have special, um, a special substance on the sur surface of the mirror so that it doesn't get as dirty as it may get uh, so it's fine and I decided to use this um, separate thing to separate the uh, dining uh, dining uh, um, breakfast area with the stools from the actual uh, stove so that you have a little bit of privacy if you're cooking and you can still see each other but you can talk to each other but I mean you don't have to see the person cooking while you're doing it because if you live in this house you probably uh, have somebody that cooks for you uh, but anyway, uh, more or less, this is the kitchen area, uh, which I like a lot, it's very very cool. Uh, I do add a couple of things afterwards, uh, like some, uh, uh, some uh, uh, cutlery on the wall, uh, but yeah, more or less, this is it. And uh, now we're working on a dining part, the let's call it dining room, even though it's not a separate room. Uh, so we have these chairs, except the two at the two sides of the table, they are mismatched. And I do add in a bar, uh, which again, it's very cool and modern and looks amazing. Um, I use uh, the bubble thing uh, in the background of the bar uh, with the bottles inside, and now I'm going to move the bottles, yeah. Uh, and I think it looks very cool in the end. Uh, I do add some bottles outside, so it, they are just for show. Uh, they, they is the one in the tank, they are just for show, and the outside ones, you can actually use them. So I think it looks pretty cool. Um, some nice art on the wall, uh, of course it's a bar so we're using the wine one, um, a rug under the dining table which looks pretty cool, and uh, yeah, um, I had this little space here which uh, uh, was empty, I didn't know exactly what to do so I decided to put in some decoration, a couple of plants, I think there is also a piece of art if I'm not mistaken, like, um, not 100%, uh, yeah, I think, uh, yeah, I'm putting in one right now, so yeah. Um, here we do add a clock, because uh, the uh, vintage glamour clock looks pretty cool. And uh, here we have the first, uh, the main bathroom, let's call it main bathroom. Um, the first bathroom that we are doing. Uh, I do add in a beautiful tub, uh, which looks amazing. A shower as well, because, uh, I mean, you, if you don't want to take a bath, you can still take a shower. Um, a couple of sinks and the toilet so you have everything that you need and uh, everything works I didn't make sure that um, you can already download this on the gallery it's uh, uploaded uh, if you want to download it just search for my username uh, silly looks like here on YouTube just with no spaces because you can't use spaces on origin um, but yeah um, it should be like in the last things I posted because I didn't post anything new uh, recently so yeah um, I do add behind the tub, yeah, as you can see, a little space with some creams and stuff you can may, may use in the, the tub. So, yeah, 
uh, I use this weird decoration, which I like, it's look, it looks like metal, to decorate that part of the bathroom, so it's actually, you know, it has a purpose. Um, I do add some, uh, uh, yeah, some, uh, how they call it? How they call it? Curtains, yeah. And uh, lights, of course, I wanted to do something cool with the rugs, but it didn't really work out. Uh, so um, that's just normal rugs. Uh, so now we are in the weird corridor, which I created. Um, I created a little uh, study space with again the um, furniture, the oh my god, uh, cabinets from the kitchen, uh, and uh, a sitting part uh, just so for you, for you to sit down um, and read a book because there is also a bookcase, and I think it looks pretty cool. Uh, nothing too crazy, nothing too fancy. Uh, it's just yeah nice piece and uh, again counter uh, kitchen uh, kitchen pieces uh, they look pretty cool and they do tie in the style of the house in the entire uh, at least in the first floor because there is an entire fourth floor so yeah um, what else um, yeah just some decoration to make it look a little bit better I do it add in the statue in the corner to um, you know give some oomph to the room and I do put in a couple of rugs, these uh, nice rugs from uh, Glamour Stuff Pack, and they look pretty cool. So we are upstairs now, and we are in the first bedroom. This bedroom has two toddler beds. I decided to do like a twin bedroom, and uh, we put in that wall, that, that decorative wall with like the mountains on the black side. And I was starting with a lot of colors because um, it. Uh, the toddler stuff has a lot of colors, so I was just in colors, but then I realized, no, I have to maintain the style throughout the house, so it's a black and white house, this is the white modern villa, please, let's skip it with the whites and blacks. So, that's why I changed the, back, the background wall and the beds to this black and whites. And just some decoration to make it look nicer, uh, these dressers here, um, I don't put in a rug because we have the moquette. Uh, oh, I did put it. Okay, I, I put in a rug. So that's the weird bedroom, the weird room thing that you can even access. But yeah. So now we're working at the in the teen we can say bedroom. It's just a nice bedroom uh, that you may use for a teen, and you can you know rearrange it and make it more personal. It's very basic, uh, quite feminine uh, also. Uh, but you can still rearrange it and make it, I don't know, for guests or for, uh, I don't know, an older parent that lives with um, the young, the, the children, like a granddad or a grandmother, or even both because it's a double bedroom. And uh, yeah, uh, you can choose whatever you want to do. Uh, just know that you have the possibility to have another bedroom. Uh, I do put in something outside in this balcony because you can actually access it, so it's very pr pretty cool and uh, do add in some lighting on the balconies because yeah you need those uh, another nice accent wall uh, so these are the two bathrooms the ensuite and the main bathroom are upstairs uh, so the ensuite, they, they look pretty similar i have some the only different shapes but more or less um, they have the same style same coloring um, more or less the same stuff it's in the same in the, both the bathrooms so there's not really much to see in here. Um, so yeah, now we're working in the main bathroom. Um, pretty cool. Main bedroom uh, with the ensuite. And uh, there is also a bit of a toilet to put on makeup. The, the beautiful big bed. And I think it looks pretty cool in the end. And also you have access to that balcony. So um, uh, maybe you don't. Maybe you have access only from the outside. I'm not 100% sure right now. No, I think you only have access from um, the corridor, we can call it. Uh, so not from this bedroom, even though you can see outside on the balcony, um, you cannot access it, but I mean, you just have to walk around, so it's not a big deal, and you can still take down one window and put in a, a door, so it's not uh, a problem. Um, so yeah, just now I changed the wall to have the little decoration with wood decoration at the top, at the bottom because it didn't have that, it was just plain white, so I decided to add the weather decoration at least inside, outside there is no. So now we're working at the garden and we are almost done, actually, then we will have the screenshots. 
um, I'm using this beautiful edge outside to make it look way polisher and nicer and they are very cut and clean so I like it a lot. Um, the post, uh, the post, uh, the, yeah, post thing, it's there and I'm adding a pool right now. Pretty cool, uh, it's not gigantic pool uh, but it's a pretty good pool and pretty nice and uh, it's very nice and uh, when uh, there is all the stuff around uh, as you can see uh, as I'm doing right now uh, then I'm uh, putting in the wall all around to protect your uh, you know personal space so I think it looks pretty cool uh, just coloring in everything adding some uh, uh, outside seating I added the bushes to make the fencing a little bit more interesting um, those palm trees with the um, how they're called pot plants they're, they're pot palm trees let's call it that uh, adding the lighting all around the house so the night shot they look amazing and uh, now we are uh, at the last part there we have a little uh, you know um, garden area so I decided to put in some plants but more or less uh, we are done with the speed build now we're going into the uh, screenshots uh, in a couple of seconds and uh, I'm just putting in some um, brown under the house to make it look a little bit more you know naturally placed there and not weird under all the plants and on the sides of the house to make it more uh, realistic that's the main thing um, which I think they, it really helps uh, decorating um, using the spray paint it really helps but now we're into the screenshots, this is our first screenshots, I do have, th this is the outside of the house, I do have also night screenshots right after this. Um, yeah, another outside of the house, this is the night screenshot, I think it looks very very pretty, and I love it, uh, in the night it's very pretty. This is the pool side, uh, with the little garden part that you can see. Um, the other side with again the pool, the seating. Uh, the palm trees and this is the little garden I was talking about with the elephant and the llama. Uh, they look pretty cool. Uh, this is uh, ups the front, uh, the front, the up region and first floor. Uh, and uh, now we have the uh, first. This is the first floor uh, or ground floor. I don't know where you're from. So yeah, again outside. I don't know why it's here and not before, but <laughs> cool. And uh, now we are into the inside part. This is the living, uh, the living room, which looks pretty cool. Again, living room. Uh, I wanted to get the TV shot as well because it looks pretty cool, and I'm very proud of that. This is the kitchen. A couple of screenshots for the kitchen as well. Um, yeah, I think it looks very, very nice with the mirroring. It looks amazing. Looks uh, very uh, light, and it looks. Uh, big and looks very very fancy which I love so here with the bar with the bubbles stuff it's pretty cool uh, the study room space uh, corridor thing um, the bathroom main bathroom up downstairs um, the, it's very very a very pretty bathroom so I really enjoyed this one uh, the other two I only have one screenshot but this is the corridor for the upstairs, uh, which I didn't show in the live, the uh, speed wheel, but I mean, it's still there. Um, now we are in the tin room, let's call it that. Um, very, very cool, you can see the balcony outside. Main bathroom upstairs. Uh, again, only one screenshot because I really didn't care about the bathroom. This is the toddler bedroom, the toddler twin bedroom. Uh, you can still transform it if you have different needs. So don't worry, but uh, I'll leave you to the last screenshots. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments. Please leave a like to support me and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I am putting out videos as soon as I can. Thank you so, so much. Bye bye.